Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here. I am headed to do a Facebook Marketplace Meetup. I am extremely excited about this one. Um, as I told you, I look on Facebook Marketplace, I go under the newly listed section. I do it, I go in there two, three times a day. I'm bored, sometimes more. Um, but I was, a few minutes ago, I just looked and somebody put up uh, 11 game consoles of various uh, video game systems. The ones that stick out to me, the only ones I can think of right now, the Sega Saturn, which sells for over $100, Sega Genesis, uh, PS Vita, the handheld. I think there was 30 to 50 games included. Um, some of them uh, need some wires, like power cords and stuff, but he said he had a power cord and he tested uh, every single one of them. So, and he, he says they all work perfectly fine. I mean, there's three or four consoles. Uh, I don't know if I've said this or not, but he wants $300 for it. Um, when I messaged him, he said he had six other people messaging him and he said, whoever you know makes the best offers. So I just offered him what he was asking because I think for 11 consoles, I know there was a Nintendo in there, there's an X, uh, original Xbox, there's a PlayStation 2 Slim. I know the PS2 Slim sell really well. If I hadn't already, I put some screenshots of his listing uh, in the corner. So what I'm thinking is, and I'm not going to get too <laughs> too excited, but I do believe this $300 investment that I'm about to make is going to bring me potentially a thousand dollars in sales, if not more. <laughs> so I should double, triple my money um, on this. Uh, only all these consoles and games um, Now the games, you know the games are hit hit or miss I did see a lot of like the halo games in there, and I don't think they're really worth anything um, But he's got a ton of other games. So yeah, we'll see. I'm super excited. I'm about to stop by the bank um, To get the cash out and then I got to drive about 30 35 minutes to pick everything up And then when I get back home, um, I'll just go through everything with y'all again I didn't hardly look anything up when I saw he had a Sega Saturn uh, Genesis um, Xbox PS2 slim. I knew all my money was back right there the 300 bucks and everything else is just icing on the top So, you know again, I know I harp this a lot, but keep an eye on your Facebook marketplace uh, Your Goodwills or thrift stores don't have to be open right now for you to make some really good money So all right, I'm super excited. Let me go uh, get the cash go meet up with uh, this person and I'll see you all in a few minutes All right, I am pulling into the gas station. We're meeting at and I think that might be him right there in that maroon car. So he said he was in a Malibu, a maroon Malibu. All right, pickup is made. Um, there's five boxes full of stuff. So there's two right there. And then my trunk is full with three others. So as soon as I get home, we'll check it out. I'm pretty excited. Uh, Looks like there's a ton of stuff in there. So, see y'all back at the house. All right, so I'm back home. Here are three of the boxes. Um, I know a couple of the boxes probably has consoles in them. This looks like these are all games. I've got two more boxes in my back seat. This looks like all the accessories and controllers, power cords and stuff. So, let's just start with this big one right here. Let me pull this out. Wow, look at all this. All right, so we got a Sega Saturn. I believe that's a hundred dollar console there. We have a PlayStation. A lot of these need definitely some cleaning up. There's a Sega Genesis. What are these Xboxes? Well, that one's missing a little something. What is that? There's an Xbox. Huh. Xbox missing the bottom. We got another Xbox over here. We got a ton of cords. I don't know what that is. More accessories, maybe. Sega Genesis controller. I think this is the PlayStation um, Vita. We'll look at that in a minute. What is this? Uh, that's a one of those small PlayStations. Oh wow, what is this? I don't see this in the picture. Sega Game Gear? It's a little, a little beat up, a little scratched up, but if I'm not mistaken, this is like 50 to 100 bucks here. 
think I'm going to do good on this, guys. Again, it needs a little elbow grease, but then what is that? Here is more controllers for the PlayStation or Xbox. Let's see what's in this. I think that's just one of those monitors that go on like your back seat or whatever. That you hook to the headrest. So it's called Nex Base. I don't know. All right, let's see what's in the other boxes. All right, it appears that this is just a ton of accessories. Well, this says PlayStation Vita. Let's see if it's in there. I think it is. There's supposed to be a Vita in here. Yeah, that looks nice too. Yeah, I think it really did good. Again, it, the condition is a little off on a little bit of it. it needs um, a little bit of cleaning, but I can do that. But overall, this is this is, this is definitely a money maker. Man, look at all these accessories. Play, I see PS1 controllers, power cords. What else we got? Headphones for something. Uh, there's a hard drive to one of the Xboxes. Oh, is this another Vita? No way. Or is this a PSP? Heck yeah, we got a PSP too. Ah, oh, this is money. This just keeps getting better. Um, here's a. Uh, that is a Xbox. There's more Xbox controllers. I mean, all this stuff is money, guys. I mean, these controllers, these OEM factory controllers sell for money. I mean, look at all these cords. That's crazy. There's more controllers. All right. That was a good box. Let's take a look at a, another one. All right, here is... I'm sure some of you video game folks know a lot more about this stuff than I do. So here's some of the games. Let's just make sure they're in there. Here's a Star Wars game. Ah, oh, brand new sealed. What? It's actually a PC game. Let's just see if that's worth anything. I said I wasn't going to look anything up because <laughs> it would take too long. But let's see if this... Uh, if this will look, if I can look this one up. Holy crap. 26,000 in video, which I think that's good. New price, $71.96. Wow, for that one game right there that is brand new sealed. Sweet. Matter of fact, I'm gonna set that one out by itself. Now, a lot of these games, I know these are not good titles. Um, here's Grand Theft Auto 3. You know, I don't think these go for much. The Gear of Wars, Sniper. Let's just make sure they're in here. Yeah, it's in there. We'll, we'll check out a few to make sure they're in there. I didn't go through everything, um, you know, just because I wanted to stay around that person the <laughs> least amount of time I can because I don't know where they've been or anything. Um, I don't know what all these games are. Tekken, Street Fighter. I mean, some of these might be worth some good money. Some may not. Here is uh, Bioshock 1 and 2, Halo. Some PlayStation 2 games can be worth some good money. Twisted something. Oh, this is awesome. Pretty sure I did pretty well on this. Uh, I don't know what that is. Here's a big old thick Gears of War. Oh, that's the uh, metal. The tin. So that might be worth a little something. All right, let me grab the other two boxes. Holy mother of pearl. This whole box is full of nothing but games. Oh my goodness. Final Fantasy PlayStation 1. What is that? All right, I have spread everything out and somewhat organized. I can't even get all of it in the same picture, but just take a look at this. I mean, this is probably gonna be my biggest score ever. Come on, Dad! Oh. Yay! I made it! Um, there's all the video games. I'm not sure if I put the clip uh, before this or after it, but I, I actually scan every single video game and tell you the total amount. It's shocking. Um, there's some movies over there. Those movies are actually worth a little bit of money. Um, but just to show you all the consoles, uh, and these bags contain cords and like three or four OEM controllers. So the controllers are alone are worth, you know, good money. Uh, there's a Sega Genesis. Uh, this one I'm assuming is not gonna work. Uh, it's got a white face on it. It's an Xbox. So I'm assuming that one probably doesn't work. Uh, there's two more Xbox consoles here. There's an original PlayStation. 
there's a Sega Saturn. <laughs> there's some TVs that go on the back of your headrest. Uh, this will sell for good money. That's a PlayStation 2 Slim. That'll sell really well. Uh, here's an original Nintendo. It's, it's all yellowed. Look at all the handheld stuff. We got a Sega Game Gear. We got a Game Boy Color, a Nintendo DS, a PS Vita, and a PSP. So that's good money there. There is a, um, a, re a red Wii. There's a hard drive for an Xbox, power cords, and there's there's probably 10 OEM Xbox controllers in there. There's some green ones. If I'm not mistaken, those green ones are kind of rare and can be worth good money. I think I've sold those before. So yeah, hopefully those are kind of rare and um, we'll make some really good money on those. And then over here, again, just bag full of OEM stuff. Super Nintendo, there's an N64. Y'all know all about N64s. So, so great, there's some N64 games, controller, and then just a ton more cords and everything like that. So I haven't added up all the systems. I haven't tested the systems either. The reason I laid it out like this is so I can start testing some of these systems and seeing uh, which ones work and which ones don't. Probably gonna start with the handheld stuff first um, because that uh, that stuff is really highly desirable right now. Test that, probably the Wii next, and then work my way. The stuff that looks like, like the Xboxes, I'll save those to last because they're not as valuable and those things are pretty big. Might even try to sell those locally. With a lot of the games that are only worth a couple bucks, um, I'll just lot those with the system and uh, get a little bit more money for it. So. So yeah, y'all be sure to let me know in the comments what y'all think about all this. Um, this is uh, unbelievable. It's a lot of work. I mean, it's a lot of listing here, but game stuff sells pretty quick. And uh, I would venture to say easily, easily over a thousand in pure profit. Uh, probably closer to 1500 if I had to guess, maybe even more. If all these handheld games worth, I know those Vitas and PSPs, aren't they like $1,500 a piece? Uh, I think that Game Boy Color is 50. I don't even know about this Game Gear Sega. I think that's an older type system. I mean, because there might be three, $400 just right there. So, all right. Stay tuned for either the total of what all the games are worth. All right, everybody. I got an update for you on the game consoles and all of the games that I bought for $300. I also got a haircut. Yeah. I swear I lost four pounds when I got this haircut. All right, so this is pretty cool. Um, there were 71 total video games. This is not counting the loose ones or the ones that may have been inside a game system that I hadn't tested yet. So 71 games in their box. Majority of them have manuals. What I did to make this go quick, I scanned every single one of them into the Amazon seller app and just took the used price there most of the time that used price it reflects you know might be missing a manual or something so some of mine might go for a little bit more might go for a little bit less i will give you the overall numbers and then i'll break down like how many if you're interested i've got it written down might as well tell you how many games of each system i had and what the value total was there are 71 total games in their box for a resale value on Amazon of $830. That $830 is not what I'll sell it for. That is after fees. So when I wrote down all the prices for everything, I did everything after Amazon gets their cut. So my bring home will be $830. That is on the games alone. There are 11 or more systems down there that I got to test out, make sure they work. But there's anywhere from five, six hundred, all up to a thousand or more in video game consoles. Y'all should have probably saw them earlier in the, the video. So if you want to hear the break, breakdown, if you're interested in that, um, in the lot there was 11 PSP games with a total resale value of $98. There was 12 Sega Genesis for $127. There were three PS1s for $36. There were three PS3s for $18. There was one Nintendo DS for $23. There were three Wii games for 25. There were 23 Xbox 360 games for 213. There were 17 PS2 games for 87. There was one PC game for 50. That one was actually brand new sealed. That's the one that I scanned earlier on the 
camera. I believe it was worth 50 as a bring home. I think you sell it for 70, you get like 60 or 50. Again, I'm trying to take lower numbers. Uh, N64, there was two of those, total $50 retail on those. SNES, there was three of them for 70 bucks. NES, there was one, it was that Zelda Gold copy. It sells for about 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. And then there was one Xbox One game for uh, $7. So, yeah, that's crazy. Now, a lot of these had values of 2 and $3 um, on uh, Amazon. Those, what I'll do is I won't send those in for 2 or $3. I'll lot those with the consoles when I sell them. And it'll make uh, me be able to get a, you know, a little bit more money for the uh, bundle price. So, overall, I am ecstatic about this deal. Again, I spent $300 for everything. I have $830 in profit in video games alone. And I have some really nice consoles down there. You know, even if half of them don't work, and let's say I only get five or $600, I still turn in, what, 300 into 15? This is definitely one of my biggest scores ever. So, hope you all enjoyed that. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them below in the comments. And I'm sure you'll start seeing a lot of this stuff in the sold videos. Um, Actually, I don't know how much you'll see in the sold videos because a lot of it's going to go into Amazon, but a lot of it I will uh, sell on eBay. So, All right, I hope you are having a great week. Good luck out there reselling.